Hi, Dan here with uh, CR Rides. And today I think we'll uh, push the 56 back on the rack and lift it up and we'll go underneath and so I can show everything that's been done to it so far underneath, uh, which is including uh, new floorboards and firewall installed. Anyways, let's uh, push this thing back and get to it. Okay, let's start up front here. So what I did is, uh, oh, this is this is some padding I put up on the frame so I didn't scratch it when I was putting the uh, front end on it the other day because uh, the frame rails all welded are all painted and everything. So as you can see, let me see, get back here. Kind of see the frame rails there. Let me move over to this side. It might be a better picture. Well, not really. Anyways, I got the frame rails all subbed on. And then uh, this is a Speedway Motors front axle. So I bought the springs here and the axle, the cross members. Uh, no, actually, I didn't buy the cross member. That was given to me by a buddy of mine. Um, but I got the the steering box. You can see it up in there. That's kind of a little bit dark up there. Got a chain hanging down in the way here. Uh, but all the steering arms, the brakes, tie rod, uh, the mounts, Everything's all Speedway Motors, and then after I got them, I uh, powder coated the whole front end chrome. So it, I mean, it looks pretty good for you know paint. Okay, and then you can see the bottom of the the 454 that I got stuck in there, um, and then as you can see. See the uh, cross member. Let me let me grab a light. I don't know if you can see that real good here. Okay, maybe that helps. You can see the cross member that I welded in. Like I said, my neighbor down the street gave me the cross member. Um, and then I just went down and I just bought shocks, turn that, you know, that I thought would fit. And then I made the upper shock mounts right there. And they just bolt on so I can change them if I need to or want to. If I want to go with a, uh, let's go over here. If I want to go with a shorter shock, because they kind of stick up a ways, you know, off the frame. I could go shorter, but, uh, you know, I, I put enough shock there so that just in case I do pull the front end off the ground, <laughs> uh, I'll have a little bit of shock left on the top end. You can kind of see the big block up there underside of the hood and everything. I'm getting ready to tilt the front end. So, now, let's go underneath. I'm gonna set this chip forward here. You can kind of see all the front end components. The calipers here. You can see that they're Speedway motors. Um, 
And then, oh, I bought these. They're pretty nice looking. Um, let, me, let me see if I can get to them here. This light. So, I don't know if you can see, see these, but it's a brake line. You can kind of see the looks of them. They're kind of a black looking brake line. And it's a local company here. It's actually a hydraulic company that uh, my neighbor actually turned me on to them. Said that they had really nice uh, steel braided brake lines. And I tell you, and, and they make them up for whatever length and whatever ends you want on them. So it's awesome. Really like that. Uh, anyways, here's the uh, cross member. That came out of a a uh, second or a third gen Nova. And uh, so I really like their their cross members. They're nice and clean and smooth and um, they're good looking. So I usually use a cross member from well it's a Camaro too the the early Camaros too Adam first gen Camaros anyways and then you can see I got my brake lines and my fuel line the yellow one's the fuel line um, run okay and uh, let's go down here Got the fuel pump here. It's all mounted, ready to go. Still got a wire to car. And you can see the fuel line going all the way back to the fuel tank. New fuel tank, and I, I powder coated the straps on it. So it's all nice and cleaned up. And let's see, I don't know, this light might be a little bit rude there where I got it. Go back and put it right here. So if you can see the hole underneath of the car is nice and clean from the axle forward. That's because I put a new a new floor pan in it with all the braces and and a new firewall. So the, the floorboard was pretty well rotted out. I, I think you could probably tell that one on the first episode of uh, 56 Homecoming. Um, anyways, that's the spring for the emergency brake. And here's all the mechanism. I chromed all that, powder coated, powder coated chrome. And it shines up pretty good. I, I'm really pleased with it. How long is it going to last? I don't know. You know what? But it's going to last enough. Long enough for me. You know, it's not like I'm building a show car. I'm building a driver. I want to be able to take this thing out and just tear up the road, you know? <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. Oh, see if we get a picture. I got a... Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a Super T10 transmission in it. And what else can I show you? Motor, headers, firewall. Can't really see the firewall too much. Maybe I'll get it, get that on another, you know, another video. Once I get this front end tilted, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll take a look at that. We can see, it's all brand new. It's really nice. And the, and the rocker panels on this thing were phenomenal. I couldn't believe it. These are factory rocker panels. And there was no rust in them. There was, when I took the backside off, you know, the inner rockers off of it. You could 
you could see just a little bit of rust, but for the most part, most of the inside of that rocker, both sides, was still raw steel from the factory. And I can't believe it. And it was full of dirt. So I don't know how it made it, but it made it through it all these years. We'll check that out. There's the, uh, the new fuel tank. All in, ready for ready for fuel. Ready to go. You can kind of see the that's the uh, filler spout that I uh, chrome plated. Also, the fuel tank isn't chrome plated. It's just that's the way it came. Painted. It was powder coated. Powder coated silver, but it, that's good enough for me. Anyways. So one of the next things I want to do with it is to drop the rear end out of it and the springs and powder coat those all all silver or chrome. Uh, actually, I got a nine inch over on the work table that I'm going to put in it and instead of this. This is just a stock Chevy rear end and they're not very strong. I've split many of them in half and taken the gears out and everything. So we're going to beef her up with uh, something a little more substantial. And uh, I like Ford nine inches. They're nice and clean. They're smooth. They look good when they're in. Uh, and you can buy all the parts you need for them. They're everywhere. So what better choice is there? Okay. So I'm going to see what I can do here and uh, my thought today that I'm going to try to get some of the front end bolted together, you know the front fenders and hood all bolted together and uh, so I can Start tilting the front end. Let me get the foam situated here. Maybe I'll move it over here. Kind of get a side view of the old the old girl. So, anyways, let's uh Let's see what we can get done. Um, I probably won't be won't get a lot done today because this is uh, Thanksgiving morning, and uh, like uh, most any hot rodder, when you got free time from work, why not work on the Chevy? Huh? All right, let's see what we can get done. <laughs> 